strategy has always been driven by learning. In fact, the potential loss of expertise from baby boomers and the company's goal of being an adaptable learning environment have led McCormick to identify a new need, to create a teaching organization in which knowledge and expertise are shared at all levels and globally. And I know many of your companies share that. Let's all share in that tenant of lifelong learning and bring back to our colleagues and associates what we learn here and what we learn throughout our careers. We often talk about how we can make our industry more attractive to youth. So now more than ever, we must leverage the supermarket's reputation as a reliable, steady employer that's expected to be around for the long term. In surveys, students are saying they just want a good steady paycheck. Most job seekers are searching for a safe and secure employer. Let's capitalize on that fact now. And let's use our 24-7 operating schedule to find ways to be more adept at creating work-life balance for our associates and their families. A National Association of Colleges and Employers study recently showed that work and life balance is a top characteristic for the ideal employer, more so for women than for men. 70% of women listed this as a top priority compared with 60% of men. So what does it all mean? Most important, all our dedication to training and hiring and retention and future planning benefits us most with one group, our customers. They're seeing familiar faces and they're enjoying an environment that's steady and smooth. The lack of disruption to the customer service experience is a benefit that brings considerable value to our image, our reputation, our value, and our bottom lines. These engaged employees need great leadership. Coach Tom Coughlin, the New York Giants, prepared for the demands and drama of 2008 Super Bowl, a year before the game even occurred. He transformed his style of leadership by relaxing the rules a bit. He listened to his players, and he started using words like fun and enjoyment. By changing and adapting his style, he demonstrated the vital connection between leadership and championship performance. He exemplified three keys to leadership. Number one, stand by your team. His willingness to change showed he was in their corner and supported them. Number two, cultivate relationships. He formed a committee of veteran players to improve communication and head off conflicts. And three, acknowledge performance. When asked how his new leadership style took his team to the championship, he said, this isn't about me. It's about our players and our team and the challenges they face each week in the NFL. So leadership comes in many forms. In the higher purpose that distinguishes our industry, we approach philanthropy with a sense of urgency and connection, not just a checkbook. We're deeply engaged in our communities and respond to the needs of our fellow Americans and the situations around us with compassion. Of course, there is a business case for charitable giving. Customers are drawn to companies that are involved ethically and give back to the communities they serve. In fact, Cone Inc., a Boston communications agency, found that 87% of consumers were willing to switch brands if price and quality are comparable if the brand or company is aligned with a cause that resonates with them. But beyond these business reasons, I see that most of you do this because of your big hearts. The consistency and long-term commitment of industry giving continues to astound me. Our nation's difficult times have inspired a renewed empathy for the hardships faced by our neighbors and our families. And we're hearing that those companies that continue their local commitments throughout these difficult times will emerge after the recession with stronger reputations as exemplary community leaders. It's heartening to me to see that all of you have found unique ways to give back to your communities. You take this role seriously by acting with compassion and caring. And you should be recognized for all of your good work. So that's why I will always be thrilled to acknowledge FMI members who are making a difference. Many of you may know Greg Calhoun, President and CEO of Calhoun Enterprises based in Montgomery, Alabama. 
What you may not know is that just last month, for the second straight year, he served as the presenting sponsor of the Montgomery Area Chamber of Commerce Diversity Summit. His business is ranked by Black Enterprise Magazine as one of the top companies to work for. Greg sponsored and dedicated a parenting center at Sydney Lanier High School. He serves on the board of directors of the Sickle Cell Anemia Foundation, and he's a deacon and member of the board at the First Baptist Church. You may also know Ed Crenshaw, who leads Public Supermarkets, which is consistently ranked one of America's best companies to work for. But what you may not know is that Ed is an ardent supporter of the industry crusade against hunger through Food for All. And he works closely with the Special Olympics, which is something he and his company have supported for 33 years. He's now chairing the board at Florida Southern College to redesign its MBA program. And then we also have Mike Stone, president of Molly Stone's Mart Supermarkets based in Mill Valley, California. You may not know that Mike has served on the boards of the Sausalito Chamber of Commerce, Rotary Club, and Rotary Housing Corporation. He was chairman of the economic element of the city of Sausalito's general plan, and he founded the city's business advisory committee. Mike and his company are major supporters and sponsors of numerous events, causes, and nonprofits. Please join me in a round of applause for these three outstanding members. It will be my pleasure to continue to recognize FMI's community leaders every chance I get. In fact, tomorrow, we will recognize store managers from across America who have made similar commitments to their communities. Care and compassion are some of our deepest and most virtuous feelings, and in the end, the true measure of generosity is the gift of ourselves, our time, and our service to others. Companies are already performing this higher level of service with a commitment so broad and so wide that it involves your whole business. Let me wow you with a list of ways you make a difference. There's so much you do, you may not even realize the extent of your impact. So let me just highlight a couple. In the area of sustainability, companies are taking action to preserve the environment today and for generations to come. More than one quarter of retailers are implementing programs, and another half are in the planning stages. Your customers are beginning to make it very clear that they expect companies to address key environmental issues. Supporting the needy. These efforts include mentoring and jobs for at-risk youth, gift cards and discounts for the unemployed, supporting the United Way and similar causes, and hunger relief. In fact, research by Feeding America, the National Food Bank Network, shows that 95% of supermarkets donate to food banks through cash, food, and in-kind services. And over the past year, the entire industry gave 2.6 billion pounds, yes, that's another B, of food to Feeding America. That's enough food to feed 1.9 billion meals. Community engagement. Your companies support local, national, and international causes important to customers and communities, such as letters to the military, voter registration drives, scholarships, and giving time to employees for volunteerism. hy V, through its Honor Flight program, just brought their local World War II veterans to visit the National Memorial in Washington, D.C. Kroger and its family of companies host a website called Giving Hope a Hand, for breast cancer that includes information about the disease, providing blog space for discussion, and a place for survivors to connect to address the challenges they face and the ways they find strength to fight the disease. And many others of you are, are, are helping to fight this disease in many ways as well. ShopRite marked $20 million in donations to local food banks this year, and so many stores across the country are doing the same to support and sustain the hungry. Food Lion supports children with disabilities through Easter Seals and has raised $20 million for the cause. And this amazing testament to industry generosity goes on and on and on. Every one of you here today has participated in a fundraiser or other community event, and you'll continue to do so. Your stunning commitment is only matched by the extent of your compassion. Health and wellness. 
Supermarkets employ dietitians to counsel customers about nutrition and foods to prevent illnesses and chronic diseases through healthy meals. Stores engage nurses to administer flu shots and check blood pressure, bone density, and cholesterol levels. You also offer smoking cessation and exercise programs for your employees. Food safety. You engage in initiatives that include auditing and certification programs for suppliers, food safety education for employees,